Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is for those that want to get a LANCE, which is also known as the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability from the FAA. Normally this is automated, but you might find yourselves one day in a zone or you might be in that zone where uh, you can't fly your drone and the drone won't take off uh, because it requires authorization. Now this is part one of the video. Part two of the video, well, you'll see at the end, or there'll be a link in the description because um, you can unlock the zone if you if you get, let's say, if you're in an area, right, and your remote receiver says drone can't take off because you're in an area that just it's not authorized, right? Um, if you get your lands through the automated process through before you fly, then you can watch the next video. But if you can't get the lands right through the app of before you fly. Uh, through uh, air control or whichever one that you use, um, then this is the route to go because some areas are just aren't automated. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your um, FAA drone zone area, right? Okay. So it's going to log in. You click I agree, and your your dashboard will show up, and then you're going to launch. Okay, now you have your inventory, your part 107 users, etc. You're going to scroll down to the bottom, okay, and then you're going to manage part 107 waivers and authorizations, okay. So, as you can see, I already have two. Once you get approved through the FAA, you can go to the next video, um, which is in the link in the description on how to unlock the, the zones. In this particular area, you have to go and do an unlock request through the DJI Fly Safe. Okay. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go back to our part right over here. Okay. So as you can see, I already have two. And now we're going to go to the next one create part 107 waiver authorization. Okay. So you have two options. One option is operational waiver. That's if you want to fly over people, etc. And for us, for this video, we're going to click the second one. We want to do an airspace authorization. Okay. Start application. And these applications are actually looked over by people. It's not automated. So when you want to do your unlock request through the DJI, don't do it until you actually have the authorization because one, you'll need to upload that to your new unlock request. And two, sometimes the FAA may make some changes to it. They might limit your, they will approve it and limit the restriction. Uh, they might shorten it or they may um, give you more space to fly in, which um, you'll change when you go into your unlock request. Okay, so back to the FAA. So operation title, we're going to call it Operation Brian, okay? Operation Brian. Brian actually reached out to me and he wants pictures of the house, which is great. But uh, in order to do that, it's in a zone. Um, and I'll show you, I'll share with you here. It's in this particular zone. As you can see, it's in restricted airspace. Let me see if I can open it. And the reason why I say that it could be changed is because, as you can see, this is the address here that's in the 200 marker, right? As you can see, it's borderline in a zero. So they may be restricted to just a one, you know, the circle smaller where I've, I've applied for some of these before and they've just like given me the whole area. So I don't have to apply again if I want to fly here, which is great. But this area. Let's see what happens when they authorize this and see how much fly space they give us. They might just give us this one little square or they might give us this square and everything else around it, which is great. But we don't know yet. OK, but this is the area we want to fly in. And as you can see, this is a screenshot because I want to include the screenshot in my uh, attachments because you're going to be allowed to send an attachment to the FAA. So that anything you can submit to help them. Right. So I, I have that. I also have a screenshot of the GPS coordinates um, to help them. And of course, I'm going to put the uh, text in, too, so they can click on the link. Um, anything 
uh, to help expedite the process so that you can get your own log. So Operation Brian, okay. And so I have my name, all information here, um, and then I'm going to click Next, okay? All right, so the start date, I'm going to put uh, March 21st, okay? Um, let's see, March. And I'm going to pause this so that everything happens for you in real time. So that's as far as we've gotten. I'm going to put in all the information and then come back and then for you, it'll just be seamless. Okay. Okay. So we're back. So we have our operation perimeters, right? We have our date, which we're going to start on March 22nd because it takes a couple of days to get the approval from the FAA. And we're going to end it on December 31st, 2023. Yes, you can do that. You could actually um, if you know you're going to be flying a lot in a certain area, you can request that, but you're going to be restricted to flying only in that circle. But that helps with the DJI uh, unlock when you do that. OK, I put this sunrise to noon, noon to 4, 4 p.m. to Sunday, etc. Weekly Eastern Standard Time. Here's the address, as you can see. Uh, I, and um, I want to go 200 feet because that's the cap, right? That's put on, as you can see. Let's just double check. Um, yep, 200. And remember, it's very close to that zero. So let's see what they come back with. Okay, so that takes care of that. Remember, all this has to be entered in correctly. And that's where I'll leave a link to this website right here. If you put the address in, that's not the actual address. It's, a, it's actually three or four houses down, but for YouTube purposes, um, we're just using this one. Uh, but on that note, um, you have to put in the degrees, 55, 49. Uh, remember, these are degrees, minutes, and seconds, okay? And latitude is north, longitude is west. Um, and you can't go wrong here because uh, you just copy it. You just say, okay, degrees, minutes, seconds. This is the tricky part, okay, for those of you who haven't done this before. So, and 40, 55, 49. See that north? And let's slide this over and west. So you're going to have to keep both windows open. Okay, description of your proposed operation. So remember, description of operation is at the bottom and proposed location. So this is the location at the top right and the proposed um, description so they want a detail so I wrote broker would like pictures of house with snow similar to one taken in Glen Rock he's in Florida right now but has approved the flight local town does not have an ordinance and police dispatch have shared as long as all FAA guidelines are followed flight will be good to go only taking pictures of house and possible neighbors house next door with neighbor's permission now i always i don't know you don't have to but i just i like to you know it gives me more confident in my flight and when someone calls it in they know who's there you know and there's not going to be um uh, any trouble so i always call dispatch and it's out of respect of the town too because there's always going to be someone who calls always and you know a lot of these towns know me already because you know, you, you, it's, it's just common courtesy, but you don't have to, but you do what you want. And, you know, you decide what kind of pilot you're going to be. OK, so on that note, is there any uh, a pending approved waiver or authorization associated with this proposed operation? No, there's nothing. And the reason why is because remember, I'll share with you um, this flight plan. See how it's here closer to the zero? Look right there, Sagaponic Lake, right? So there was another area where I wanted to fly. Um, let's go back. Let's see. And they actually changed it and gave me more space to fly in. I believe it was, ah, this one, yes. So I'm going to open this. So if, I, if, if there was something overlapping, like if his house was closer to the house that I wanted to fly next to, then yeah, you would click yes. But in this case, you click, click no because look, I actually asked to fly in this little grid, these four grids, and they changed it and they gave me more. That's why I said don't do the DJI um, unlock until you actually know how much space you have to fly in. Okay? All right, so on that note, so as you can see, um, 
the lake is right here, right? Sagaponic Lake, and it's close to the zero, so most likely it was close to the first zero. So as you can see, uh, 200 is the box I'll be given, but they might give me here, they might give me there, and well, then I can fly out in the ocean a little bit, maybe check out a barge. Um, but we don't know yet, so that's why. So we clicked no, okay? So let's go back. And so that's why no was selected. And if we go back to the other one again, just to double check, because remember, um, if you get denied, you waste time and you, you lose money or you could lose the client. And they might choose someone who already has the approval. Um, okay, so there you go. So you see that right next to the zero. So that's the first grid. Um, but back to the other one, let me go back to the one that I just showed you. Let me just go back here because um, there was another one, another unlock that they um, approved and they actually limited the amount of space I could have. And they gave me this circle, which is great, right? But look at the radius, they actually put down the radius. So I have to put that, convert that from nautical miles to feet, which is fine. But this is a great flying area because then I can jump in the car, hop here, fly within there, get maybe some other views. Um, well, depending on a clear day or night, you know. Uh, so that's that. So remember, you can't stress, don't do the unlock zone until you find out what you're restricted to flying in. And as for this one, they didn't do the, uh, they just did the, uh, you know, the uh, longitude and latitude, but they didn't give me the mile. But, you know, you, you pretty much know 200. And that's, you know, you can't, you have to jump in your car to go there and you would just match it to the address. Um, so on that note, let's get back to what we're doing and click next. Okay. So we're going to click next and confirm everything. Now remember, I asked for one nautical mile, but we're going to see what they come back with on the grid. Okay. Click next. Okay, so we're not going to click submit yet, even though we have, we're going to send an attachment. So what I like to do is, you know, I like to let them know that I'm a responsible pilot, that I'm not just Mr. Fly by Night, I just got my drone for Christmas and I just need to unlock my my RC receiver so that the remote can take off. So I just include the good stuff. I include, um, you know, that I did my research on where I want to fly and where the house is. I did my research, include the coordinates, um, did my research, supply the text exchange, you know, that I have approval to fly there, my certificates, my drones that are registered with the FAA, um, all the additional courses I took, which were the, um, you know, small unmanned aircraft night operations best practices, which you can get on at the FAA website, 10 decision making concepts for use uh, for UAS pilots. Um, and then actually I might have to delete one because um, looks like I put two in there, um, but that's really easy to do. And then of course my trust certificate. So, you know, they know that, okay, this guy, you know, not only got his 107, but he also did the additional homework to, you know, to become aware and alert of other. So, we you know, um, we, I, I have no trouble approving this guy. Let me just fix his um, flight plan because, you know, he's not familiar with, with, with uh, whatever, and then they just fix it for you. So as you can see, uh, there are two in there. So I just delete one, right? And make sure the other one's there. And then I close it and then I save it. Okay, so now we go back to where we were and add attachment. And we're gonna just go to our desktop. You go wherever your files are, um, but for me, um, you know, that's just where, where, where I keep them. And then I just press space bar to make sure it is what it is. Uh, yep, everything is what it is. And I'm just gonna close that, click open. Okay, now before I click save, it's gonna upload and I can just say what it is, right? It's gonna be a description. So there we go, so there we have it, right? Correspondence with client confirming flight is good to go along with certificates of training. Right, because you want that, you know. You you know, I'd want to know who I'd be certifying to, not just okay. They put the coordinates in, you know. You want to make sure they they have everything, and of course, they probably do have that because of the FAA. But you know, every little bit helps. All right, so we're gonna click save. It'll upload, and you're there. Voila. 
So there we have it. Just confirm everything, okay? Um, oh, I'll show you before I sign off uh, the other changes that they made. Um, they had also made some changes to one of the other flights that was approved. Oh, I'll actually show you not in in, in that in the um, in the dashboard. They'll show you all the additional changes. So this looks good to me. So now what we're gonna do is we have everything. Um, we're just gonna click submit and then see what happens. Voila. All right. So now we wait. It's a waiting process, and like you know. Let's go back to manage part 107 waivers. I believe it was. So there we have it. Operation Brian submitted. We got two approvals. Um, let me just see which one. Ah, here we go. See, the following changes have been made to the airspace authorization. So they changed the radius um, from 1.2 miles to 0 0.66, um, which is fine uh, given the area time frame change from sunrise so if you want to fly somewhere else you'll have to drive the car or do a google maps thing and, and then resubmit another lands authorization so if i want to go beyond that um, time frame change from sunrise to noon noon to four etc that's fine and that's all good so that's it so now we go back we're just going to close this out and we're going to let's see if i just go back and that's it for this part all right so we're going to come back um, in a couple days and see what happens or what happened if we get approved or not approved okay so it's wednesday march 15th as we can see right here whoops uh let's check out and see if our lance got approved in real time open up google chrome and let's say you just come home from work and you have a bookmark faa drone zone great try to use chrome apparently safari is really glitchy everything should auto populate with chrome click i agree and scroll in launch your panel and oops let's see scroll down to the bottom manage part 107 waiver authorizations from your dashboard mm, nope it just says submitted okay but that was just yesterday that was you know last night i'm sure they have other lances to approve remember each lance gets approved one at a time All right so until tomorrow i just got an email from the faa i haven't checked it yet but i got a notification and we're going to check and log in to the um, faa drone zone to see if i've been approved for my lance i was like okay let me just hold hold back on the excitement but so far so it took about a day more than roughly two days because remember it was submitted the other day and we checked yesterday and today is the second day so um roughly like almost two days to get the approval right all right so let's see so we're going to go into the faa drone zone access our account log in remember safari is a little bit glitchy Log, and we'll get to see all the changes they made and how they approved it, uh, if it was approved. Um, launch my dashboard for my drone zone. Pilot, please work. Okay, so now we're just gonna scroll down and manage part 107 waiver or for the authorizations and, oh, so that's what the email said. All right, so it's under review. So we're just gonna wait and see. Um, Okay, so we'll catch you guys on the flip side and hopefully maybe tomorrow or maybe at the end of today. The time now, as you can see, whoops, is 1.08 p.m. So who knows, maybe tonight. Um, anyway, stay tuned and it'll happen for you in real time, whereas I'm the one who has to wait. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Friday, March 17th, 9.37 a.m. Let's see if our lands came in from the FAA. There were some slight changes that were made because I was right in the beginning. It's really close to zero and you really have to specify. Okay, FAA drone zone. Let's see if it got approved. Login, of course. Oh, interesting. Usually the login's at the bottom, but when you click login, it brings you right there. Okay, so I'm going to go to my dashboard and hopefully it went through. Um, scroll down to the bottom and click on authorizations and operation yes operation brian approved great so there were some complications in here and the um the uh person from the faa had actually emailed me um 
and there were it wasn't because I was so close to zero, right? Um, I'll let's just see what we got though. Let's just view the attachment and then I'll fill you in on what exactly happened. Um, okay. Oh, nice. So we got our grid. Um, perfect. So we got exactly where we want to. Oh, nice. So they 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 um. Gave me some room around the beach, which is great because this way I can not only film around the house. See right here, that zero, I'll zoom in on it really. So what I had done was I put one mile radius right from here and that would not have worked because look, there's a zero there. So what I did was um, I basically put together a screencast saying exactly what I wanted to do and look, so now uh, I can fly near the beach. Can't really go out into the ocean. I guess if I do want to go out into the ocean in this particular area, I'll have to um, I'll have to uh, put in another lance request, which is fine. I don't mind doing. But at least we can get the Sagaponic Lake, and we can get like this little um, river or whatever's running through there. And that that 200 is where the house is, so it's perfect. The only you know the only downside is you'll have to you know I'll have to jump into the car park and there's parking here you just need a parking um pass to get there on season but off season anybody can park there um and then to go over here to get some you know little snippet of town um, but i already have the previous lunch which extends through here too so it's perfect it overlaps a little but it's fine because um, it sort of fills in the gap um and that's it and um apparently they email you and i didn't realize that so check your email so basically he had emailed me, right? Uh, I said, thanks for getting back to me so quickly. So rather than building a circle around the longitude and latitude, right? Uh, you provided, he built the box with five points, which works out great because now I can get the B-roll footage, right? And there's a draft for my review. Um, and then if I go back again, um, there were some complications. They had, um, good afternoon, I'm processing your airspace authorization. Before I send the request to ATC, I just wanted to confirm that you were requesting one nautical mile radius to film a home. So that's what, what threw up a red flag. So you have to be specific because I wasn't so specific. It delayed a little bit, but it took four days. That wasn't so bad because you know you can't fly within a one mile radius if there's a zero up above within the... Um, within the grid, as you saw. So if we go back to, um, let's see, what was it in here? Ah, so yeah, if I was here, if I put 200 here, right, and then it would have been possible to do a one mile radius, right? But because of the next grid was with 100, it was like borderline, it just wouldn't have been possible. So this is great. You know, I don't I don't understand why everyone fears the FAA. I mean, they're, they're basically your ally. And as long as you do everything the way you're supposed to, you know, fly your drone, the, has as, as if you would have when you uh, were studying for your part 107, um, you know, and then you, there's nothing to fear with them. Um, other than the only thing you have to fear is a flyaway with your drone, you know, if that ever happens. Um, uh, and then that's probably the only uh, uh, experience you'll have with them. So anyway, I hope this video helps you, right, in understanding and went through the whole process on how to get a lance directly from the FAA. Um, and Remember, now that we've got the approval, you have to watch the next video to do the DJI unlock. So um, basically, that video covers that. So you just have to match this grid, right? And of course, this will get uploaded too with the uh, DJI documents so that um, you get your lance approval so that you can do the unlock from your drone. So this is just one step, okay? So... Again, hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions or comments and ideas for other videos, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time.